Hi boys and girls, it's uh, Tuesday, first day of Snocktober, and uh, thought I'd give you all a heads up on why I haven't been posting any videos lately. My cameras are gone. I have misplaced them or somebody in good taste has got them hid on me. So, this is off my telephone. I think they still call them telephones, right? Cell phone. It's off our cell phone. So, uh, I've not been doing very much. Went to the Crosley Nationals, and then I went to the Illinois Regional Crosley Show, and that's the only sh car shows I've been to. And I got another one. I missed about 50 of them down here. They're, they have them all year, just about, and cruises and all sorts of stuff. But uh, we got one that benefits the folks that we used, that I used to take care of, and Mary Ann still does, and uh, it benefits them. And uh, it's really close to to uh, where I worked. So if I could get my little copper berry mobile done, I would uh, I would sure love to take it and and at least go to that car show. Show that, show my little crusty car, and uh, visit with my car buddies that I hadn't seen all year. And uh, Josie wants to go. She's my little dog, my little car mascot, right? Say something to the girls and boys. Hello, girls and boys. Oh, you are such a sweet little puppy, puppy, puppy. Anyway, the problem with uh, taking my car to the car show is. Hello. Hello. Come up here. That's for Scott Best. <laughs> look at the camera, layer, Larry. Look, look. What's that doing? Where's the cat? Get that cat. Is the cat in here? Where is that darn cat? Oh, baby. Anyway, my Barry Mobile, it drove off all over the road. Worse than, the, than just with me driving. So, uh, Tuck the front end apart and replaced the spring bushings and uh, done the tie rods and lined the, the front end, swapped the tires around, uh, greased everything real good, and uh, fixed up the steering sector, steering box, and it still wanted to go towards Aunt Tilby's house or, or a ditch or whatever. So I tore it back apart, and I'm putting kingpins in it. And uh, since it's got a straight axle, kingpins are pretty major. But when I used to do them on school buses and dump trucks, the kingpins would be this big around. You had to take a torch and a big hammer, and it was all you could do to knock them out. Uh, kingpins in a Crosley is uh, it's about like this. They're tiny. They're about a the early ones are a half inch, and uh, the later ones, like like the Barry Mobile, is five eighths. So you just pretty much knock the pin, knock the locking pin out, and the caps, and knock the far out of them, and they come apart. So uh, I had a set of new ones, and uh, they're very cheap. They're twenty five dollars a set. Oh, just a minute, I have some background music. Y'all got your background music going? All right. And, uh, where was I? What? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think I give my, my, uh, the set I had bought away to somebody that needed them worse than me. I dreaded putting them in, but I, the only ones I was used to doing was the big ones. And these here, you just whack them with a little tiny hammer and they come out. Then you ream them and just cram them together. So, uh, I ordered some new ones and I also needed a steering ball poke that sticks up and the drag link goes on there. It was wore out. I think that's where my problem was. So, uh, I ordered that so 
waiting on that. If that gets here, this is Tuesday and the car show is Saturday, I can cram it all together and grease it up and set everything back and uh, stick it, load the truck, load the car in the back of my truck and take it to the car show. And that'll be good. That'll be a good end of my summer. Uh, summer. It's still hot. Still dry. And uh, I enjoy it. I do love the rain. I feel really good when it rains. And my last name it rains, so that would probably make some sense. If I make any sense at all. But uh, I'm afraid it's going to snow before it rains here. Everything's all burned up. The leaves are starting to die on the old trees and stuff. Uh, it's just Marianne's wore out, keeping her flowers going outside, carrying buckets of water from the cistern. And uh, that's our weather. Shut this off. This is really keeping me un, uh, unfocused. Bye. Thank you. Woo. I think that they add that after they get their video made in some kind of editing magic that I don't have access to or the brains to run. Uh, I think that's about all I know of to uh, catch you back up on what I'm doing. Uh, when I don't have the legs to go play with my cars and stuff, I sit here and I, I do silly things like I build things like this. You want it, Shirley Jean? She doesn't like the stuff that goes pow. All legal, semi-automatic stuff. There's no reason to have a machine gun because bullets are too high. And there's not much fun shooting a machine gun, I'll tell you. You just go, and that's it. Whereas you can take something that's legal, and you can shoot stuff like a, a shuck-up pop can or, you know, aerosol cans. They'll go all over the place. Stuff like that. You can shoot them one at a time and see the effects of it and uh, usually shoot shoot a, a clip through one and then I put them in the closet or I take them and sell them and make, and, uh, make uh, money for my crosses. It kind of helps, helps with the, the money part. don't need much money to build a crosby but you do need some. You can't make every part with a chisel and a hammer. And uh, we've got some really good folks that sell us parts cheap. Cheaply. And that keeps our little hobby going strong. That's probably the only reason that we can enjoy these little bitty cars is the, the cheapness of the rebuild of them. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, thank you to everybody. I've got I think a hundred folks that I subscribe to and uh, when I can't get out or can't wiggle I watch you guys on the computer and you girls and uh, I live through you uh, pupomiscically and uh, that gives me you know reason to get out of bed and you know, do some stuff to my own it, it inspires me and uh, the biggest inspiration right now is uh, Hellride, 66 Hellride. And uh, Jason, he's just an amazing man. And I love him dearly. Everybody does that knows him. And uh, everybody else has been doing some pretty cool stuff. And uh, when I comment on your stuff, you don't have to comment back on me. I know that, that y'all got some a lot bigger channels than I do and, and uh, you know I'll, I'll say whoopee or something stupid and uh, you don't really have to write me back on that stuff I'm just it's just enough that I can 
say something and I don't always comment on everybody's stuff because you know I enjoy it but I can't always think of anything to add to it and uh, therefore I don't I think it's just part of me okay I'm gonna try to shut this off Shrug Jean, you want to shut this off child uh, well I could do a whole show just on what this silly dog does it's funny. This dog is just a wonderful companion. And uh, I always wanted a big mean man dog that would ride in the back of my Jeep or or uh, jump in the truck and, you know, and, and rah, 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 everybody out, and, you know, like, like, you know, a John Wayne dog or stuff. And I had some really nice big dogs, even one... Uh, that was part wolf. A beautiful dog. Loved him. And uh, he got rented over. But uh, all these big, burly, manly dogs, you couldn't get them in the back of a pickup. You couldn't. You had to pick them up and put them in a Jeep. They'd shake around and wet themselves, being so scared about going down the road and things. And you couldn't trust them in the back of a pickup because they'd bail out you know, and uh, you'd have to go pick them up and get the leaves out of them and put them back in. Uh, they're just very disappointing. And then we've got this little dog, and she's just as brave as a German Shepherd or a Doberman Pinscher or anything. She jumps in the car, she jumps in the truck, she can clear a fence, and uh, she loves me of everything in the world. I think this dog loves me more than probably my mom and my wife does more too. But, and my family and my everybody. But the dog cares for me. She's nuts. Are you nuts for your daddy? Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's kind of embarrassing to uh, drive up in a in an army truck or something to have the dog come out and look like this. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You can't always... Here's something about love. I figured this out a hundred years ago about love. You can't pick the person that you fall in love with. You can try and say, wow, I sure like to fall in love with, with that person. And uh, you can't pick them. It just happens. And you can't pick the time either. Because you may be a itty bitty baby, or you might be an old, dried up old man, and you fall in love. You can't pick the time, you can't pick the person. And the worst part of this stuff is you can't make someone love you. You can't make them love you. It has to, it has to come from them. So even though you love them, they don't have to exactly love you back. And love you back in the same way, and that's the tricky part. But uh, one way to find out if you really do love somebody is you hug them, you hold them good and tight, and you pay attention. And do you feel them against you, or do you feel them inside you? And uh, if you feel them inside you, yeah, you love them. Okay, that's my uh, Chuck Wallery moment of the day. All right, Shirley Jean. Go get me some pancakes. Woohoo! Okay, maybe this will dispel the rumors of my demise or lack of it. Alright, bye!